Okay, so let's continue with the discussion. So good afternoon, everyone. And this afternoon we'll be discussing the stresses in saturated soil with seepage. So in the previous meeting, so we have discussed the, the stresses without the flow of water, meaning the water is just in static condition. So no movement of water is present in the examples we have um, solved. Okay, so, so this time is we'll be introducing a flow of water. So it will be um, upward seepage or downward seepage. So obviously upward, so the movement of water is going up. So upwards and the other one is downwards. So of course, if you look at your soil sample in a three-dimensional aspect, so the flow of water is 3D genus, yeah, mali XYZ na yeah, movement, uh, XYZ na yeah, movement. But again, since we are just solving it in a simple manner, so we have to analyze it first in the two-dimensional aspect, which is in the X and Y plane lang sa. So wala lang sa Z axis. So if you want to solve for the flow of water or any aspects pertaining to the z-axis so tiyan siya musulod sa masteral degree um, also especially if you want to determine also the air uh, pressure diba kay three phase man ang kuha diba ato ang soil sample so air water and solid so most likely we neglect air but if you want to study the air portion of our soil sample so they are nasha musulud sa masteral degree. So we can determine the air pressure, the water pressure, and the soil pressure as well. So tulong nasha kabuok. So sa laboratory natay apparatus dito nga maka determine og air pressure, but kulang pa siya og kanang accessories. Kailangan pa siya tawra ng triaxial uh, apparatus, which is our next next topic shear strength of soil. Okay, so the effective stress at any point in soil mass will be different from the static case because as what we have learned from our um, fluid mechanics, so if you have um, head added, diba? so meaning na, may increase ang atong energy, may increase atong, atong head, may increase atong velocity head, so na increase, diba? Yeah, if downward side, so we have head loss. So masana di ba? Natay decrease in the energy, the velocity head, the energy head, and uh. so simple lang yata pag discuss because what will be added in the equation is just the katong mga h sa ato ang mga um, direction of our seepage. So whether it's upward seepage, so plus head then downward seepage, head loss. Oops. Okay, so let's go first to the upward seepage. So upward seepage, so for example, this one is your soil specimen. And let's say we consider it as saturated because we have a continuous flow of water in this direction, diba? So meaning upwards, yeah? So padong diri ang tubig, diba? So one is na too big, diba? but to go up. Na. So upwards ang yahang. Okay. Okay, so for example, you want to solve for the different stresses in our diagram. So at point A, so going towards point A, so katanaw ninyo ang inyohang layer sa H1 is only water, di ba? So water, one nila in. So meaning ana, what we can calculate in the first layer going towards A is just the pore water pressure. Meaning ana, we don't have any total stress and effective stress. Di ba? Wala ta na kay. As you can see in the first layer, it's purely water. So meaning ana, at point A, 
So what we what we can only solve is just the or water pressure. So wala na ilain, di ba? Okay, pure water man siya. Now let's say you want to solve the stresses at point C. So three point C, di ba? Now this time is na na siya saturated soil at a given depth Z. So going towards C, so H1 going towards point A, but then going towards point C is Z. Diba? Dere? Ano siya to ang Z? So going towards point C, that's H1 plus Z. Okay? <clears throat> so if you want to solve for so if you want to solve for the total stress, so of course you can solve the total stress. So total stress is just H1 gamma water because that's the unit weight in the first layer, only water. Then in the second layer, that's um, Z, was Z times gamma saturated. So again, gamma saturated pata because we are solving for the total stress. So, so far, so good, diba? So, let's say we want to solve for the poor water pressure. So, again, poor water pressure at a given depth going towards point C. So, we can say that it's all covered with water, diba? Kay may overflow na ganyang water dito sa baba, diba? So, meaning, Anna, we have a complete coverage of water from H1 to Z. Okay, so para masolve na to is we have gamma water, na gamma water. So quantity, so we just have to add up the the height, height uh, I mean the different heights of water per layer. So H1 plus Z. Now this time since we have upward seepage, so notice in this particular piezometer, let me see ya. Uh, and middle of um, directing towards point C, diba? So, many siya particular piezometer sa point C. So, notice nga atay head added, diba? This particular height. Muna siya ito ang head added. Okay? So, meaning ana is we have to add that particular height as well. So that's plus H over H2 times Z. So plus ta because we have a head added in this particular piezometer. So which is obvious because upward man, diba? Na meaning an anai positive energy or we have an, an, an added energy to let the flow of water go through the particular soil. So, mura siyang ipamba, di ba? So, mura kailangan mong extra effort or extra energy. Now, in point A, so there's no need for us to add the particular height in the piezometer because as you can see in point A, so mura siyang point A, di ba? Ang piezometer. So, let's just write the letters. So, notice that the level of water in the, your, your piezometer A is just equal to the surface level, diba? So meaning na, there's nothing to add in the water pressure. Okay, say mara man siya ko, water man siya kiyapon din, kutub din sa pita, diba? So the same rasha. So wala siya eh, head, uh, water or head added in point A. Now in the last point, point B, uh, before we go to point B, so some of you might ask, ano, ani ang height sa inyohang point C nga piezometer? Diba? Now actually, we derived niya using the ratio and proportion. So I'll just write it here. So ratio and proportion between two different hydraulic conductivity. So ratio and proportion of ano, hydraulic. Uh, hydraulic gradient then, hydraulic gradient. 
So meaning ano, the hydraulic gradient of the of your total height of your soil. So that's I sub B, meaning the hydraulic gradient at point B. Then the hydraulic gradient at any point of your at any point on your soil specimen. So bisag asara na, di ba? So let's say point C kay mawala na ang given sa to ang drawing. Now as we recall, the formula for hydraulic gradient is head all over the length of the soil specimen, di ba? So meaning na the head and the length at point B is equivalent to the head and the length at point C. Now, as you recall our discussion sa ito ang um, C page na topic, so length is always parallel to the direction of the flow. Now, since our direction of the flow is in the y-axis, di ba? Diba? Nasa y-axis ang direction sa flow. So, meaning na, ang atong height sa ito ang soil specimen will be in the y-axis as well. So, this will be the length of the soil specimen. So, if you want to determine the height, I mean the, the area pertaining to the flow. So, since atong area, atong topic is perpendicular towards the flow, so meaning the cross-sectional area of this particular specimen is na dere, di ba? Na as x plane. So, so, this will be the area. Okay, perpendicular much as a flow, di ba? As you can see in the figure. Na, perpendicular. Then the flow is parallel to the length of the soil specimen. So, muna siya, muna interrelated gap much as a previous topic. Okay, so if we want to continue this one, so the head at point B, so that's H, di ba? Monisha, the head added at point B is H. Diba? So H, then the length of the soil specimen in uh, towards B is H2, di ba? This one, H2. So H2 is equivalent to the head added at point C, so let's say H sub C lang for the sake of um, na time represents a head at point C. Then the length going towards point C is Z, di ba? So isolating your H sub C, so H sub C or the head added at point C is H all over H2 times Z which is this particular variable or term being presented as the height of or as the head at point C. So the same, siya, di ba? So, di asya gikan gi derive. Okay? So, ang igamitan na is the hydraulic gradient at two different, um, two different points. So, one is the maximum height of the soil specimen. And then the other one is the katong any point. So in this in this case is katolang atong point C. So questions so far. So walara. So of course in the point being aspect. So of course your total stress as if atoning ikuan he derived um, effective stress is just the total stress minus the pore water pressure. So most likely ang katong shortcut na atong naibawaan pag last meeting is um, medyo lisod siya i-apply today because we have to consider the the head added na aspect sa inyong water pressure niya. Murag maglisod taog ka ng gamma prime, di ba kay? Basi ma-miss out na to ang katong pressure being added by the one by the upward seepage so when it's better if we use the manual method or katong the longer method so katong shortcut medyo gamit siya if we want if you want to just determine the effective stress immediately but kanisha since we have an added pressure sa water pressure so medyo kailangan ta mag careful sa atong solution so, pili kaya po siya shortcut, but 
at the end of the term is we have to add the water pressure. Uh, we, want, we want to subtract the water pressure from the upward seepage. So, may dagdag na kanangkuhan na term, di ba? So, at point B, so total stress now is H1 gamma water plus H2 gamma saturated. Then pore water pressure is, again, the total height of the water going towards point B. So that's H1 plus H2. And then you want to add the upward seepage ahead, which is, in this case, that's H. Then again, our effective stress is just total stress minus pore water pressure. So, muna siya. So, questions or clarifications? So, wala ra? Okay, so let's go on with the next slide. Oops. Ah, so, muna siya sa next slide. So, if we try to establish the, the stress diagram of the figure, so at the at the upper portion, kaniya siya dilapita, kaniyang surface. Since this one is exposed in the atmosphere, so we can clearly say that the total stress is zero, pore water pressure is zero, and then effective stress is also zero, di ba kay? Again, the concept being used here is gamma h. So if there's no coverage or there's no length uh, to be determined or height to be determined. So zero gap on chadiba kay maskina unit weight, so maskin gamma water times zero, zero gap on gawas. Okay, so today is we can now verify the 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 different values that we have um, calculated earlier. So again at H1 so H1 gamma water because again the layer is just water. So pore water pressure is still the same. Pa? So we can say that the effective stress is zero. Okay. So zero siya because of course there's no soil in the first layer. So purely water. So again, effective stress pertains to the stress being contributed by the soil grains or by the soil particles. So since there's no soil in uh, the first layer, so one has zero, shadere, zero. So koara. So again, next is, um, I think you can follow this one. So total stress, H1 gamma water plus Z gamma sat. And then pore water pressure is, as what I have told you earlier, is Manisha. So cutting I, IZ, so again, the I is H over L. By H over L of the total soil specimen, total coverage of the soil specimen. So meaning na may mo siyang H all over H2 times Z. Kanisya. So again, cutting H over H2, it will be the I, di ba? Muna, ang ibotang dere sa inyo hang book, it's IZ. Gamma water. So, Mona, if you want to create a shortcut, so you have to be creative in determining the possible shortcut na method. So, sa libro is Mona siyang na come up sa libro ani. So, I don't know if it will be important to you that you create your own derivation, but sa kuwa is sakto na tong basic steps. So calculate first for the total stress, calculate first for the pore water pressure, and then lastly is calculate for the effective stress, which is total minus pore water pressure. So para dili kayo magkang kay formulas na, na I remember, di ba? But at least step by step siya. And if you want to create a faster method, so it will be anang kuan sad important in the board exam but karon is di ba board exam so just stick with 
the safer kwanan sa calculation. Okay? So again, as you can see in the diagram, ang bago na yung diri is kanira yung mga upward seepage na term. Baka ni mga head added and kanis siya kanis. Puro na mga mga siya ang new part. Ang kaning nasa total stress, the same gap on siya, di ba? Yeah, pour water pressure. Then, of course, we subtract the total with the pour water pressure. So, ano lang siya? So, questions so far? Or clarifications? Or inyo rin yung i-review niya? Sige. So, since wala man, kapasin mo, surface na siya niya after the discussion. So these are the calculations per um, points, Nina. So for 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 um, verification later on, so you can just follow this one. So kanisha. So you can just review this one later. So again, ang bago is kanin, di ba? So if you apply movement, so just H one plus H two times gamma water. Uh, Okay, so in the upper C page, so if the if the speed or if the velocity of the soil, I mean the, the water is too fast, so there's a condition called boiling or quick condition. So kanisha. So usually kanisha is present in kaming sandy soil. So muna natin itawag nga quicksand, di ba? Natin yung mga liquefiable soils because of this particular scenario, kaming ang rate sa water going upwards is fast enough, di ba? Murag, ang rate sa upward sea page is very fast that it tends to break down the the sandy condition of the soil, di ba? Ang basa saan ganun, di ba? Dali kayo siya mabungkag, di ba? Dali kayo siya madissipate. So, muna siya ang condition sa ato ang quicksand, di ba? Or sa ato ang mga liquefiable na soils. So, during kaning mga sandy na mga soils lang. Kaning boiling and quick condition. Now, if you compare this one with your clay soil, so clay tends to hold water, di ba? Diling ko na iyang, iyang ilet ang water pass through easily, di ba? So, marag iya pa nang i-contain as much as possible compared to sand. So, ang sand is mahubas na yun, di ba? Para sa dagat. So, ini ka hapak sa tubig sa shore. So, ini ka habwa kay mawagtang na yun ang inyohang water, di ba? So, imagine that the water is very fast or ang iyahang rate of seepage is fast. So, meaning na mabongkag ang inyohang kwan, di ba? Ang inyohang um, sand particles. Actually, dili pa yun cohesive ang ato ang sand. Cohesive meaning na ka nang magpilit ba? But they don't tend to stick together compared sa clay. Okay, so so if you want to determine the critical hydraulic gradient, so this one is the formula. So gamma prime, so as what we have known from the previous topics, so that's gamma sat minus gamma water, diba? All over gamma water. That's the critical hydraulic gradient. So for most soils, so the ICR varies from 0 0.9 to 1.1. So meaning ana, if the value is um, within this range, so it tends to um, have the boiling or quick condition. Ah. So muna siya ang critical hydraulic gradient. So meaning na if makadetermine mo sa critical hydraulic gradient sa inyo particular soil sample, so naamoy range or naamoy ka ng limiting range wherein you can say that at this particular hydraulic gradient or hydro hydraulic conductivity or kung sa pa na siya inyong ipang-solve na uh, involve ang inyong hydraulic gradient, 
is that you can say that safe pa siya sa kanilang condition. If it's lesser than 0.9 ba, or anong kuhan? Lesser than 1.1 depending on the soil type. Okay. So next is we'll go to the downward C page. So downward C page na pata. So as you can see, the the source of water is now in this region. Ani siya. So source, na source of water. Okay, so this time the, the flow is downwards, right, downwards, and then we have a drainage. So meaning that the water can flow out in your soil specimen. So as what we have noticed in the different piezometers from points A, C, and B, so ganina is purta head added, di ba? But karon is we have head loss per um, points. Okay. So at point C, so dapat na na siya Z3 basi na cover ni siya sa kung pag overlap sa kaning figure, kaning other figure. So na siya Z3. So the same formula, but of course, marag ang kung ano ni sa inyong pore water pressure is instead of add, so we have to subtract your um, pore water pressure since we have a downward seepage. So as you can see in the stress diagram, so ganiha is we have, so let's go to point C, gani, gani point C, dire, point C. Mani. Okay, so at point C, so notice that the head loss is now minus IZ. So bali mo na siya ang bago, di ba nga na, na introduce ganina. So upward seepage is we have to add the head added. Sa pore water pressure, downward seepage is just the opposite. So we have to subtract it. So point P, so again, minus H na punta. So ganina plus H, karon is minus H na punta. So, ana lang, dali na kayo siya. So, you can just follow through the different notes. So, kanisha is, ako lang i-explain ng different parts because at first glance sa PDF nga libro, so, basi makorotan mo nga, gitagaan mo stress diagram, di ba? So, kanisha again is the stress diagram. So, ano triangular man siya. So, again, as what I have told you, with increasing depth, we increase ang stress, di ba? So, ma triangular siya. Uh, di ba? So, muna siya ang to ang stress diagram. Okay. So, there is, we don't have any quick condition sa downward sea page because paubos man ang soil, di ba? So, it's working together with gravity. So compared sa katong marag upper sea page, so marag iyang gishoot pa, panong gawas. So para maka-appreciate siguro mga na, um, try um, creating your own kanakuan, container. Yeah, pagbutang siguro mo kanakuan, let's say kanang mga kanang balas baro na na. Then try to shoot water at an at a higher velocity if di pa mabungkag inyo ang sand, sandy soil. So, pwede rin na. So, sandy soil can be bought in the hardware, di ba? For one sack, na, one sack, I think, 20 pesos. Na. Yung ko sure if pila na i-pressure ron. Okay. So, next is we go to the C page force. Okay, so the effect of seepage is to increase or decrease the effective stress at a point in a layer of soil. 
So it is often convenient to express the seepage force per unit volume of the soil. Thus, the effective force of an area is kanisha. So the force is equivalent to Z gamma prime times the area. Okay. So force per unit volume. So ano force per unit volume man siya? Because since we don't know the cross-sectional area of your, of your specimen, di ba? So marag mahog siya nga um, per unit volume, di ba? So marag siya mahog nga ang atong yung gamit yan ay isang effective unit weight, ra? So, saan mo na siya pag-explain in simpler terms, ha? So, force per unit volume. So, meaning ana, ano yun lang pag-explain. So, if ang ipangayo sa problem is force per unit volume, so meaning ana, it's asking for the force, di ba? Per one cubic meter of volume. So, let's say your unit uh, uh, gamma prime is... 16.35 na kilonewton per cubic meter. So, meaning ana is muna siya automatically ang inyong um, P1 prime, di ba? Okay, it's already in force, di ba? Force is in kilonewton. Then, per unit volume is cubic meter. So, meaning ana, for every one cubic meter, is the force being generated by that particular volume is 16.35. Now, otherwise, if you are given with all the, all the dimensions, so na amoy um, total length of the soil specimen, then as amoy cross-sectional area being given, so you can solve for the force na kuanjun, na unit. Now, if all I given na units, so you can just say that the, the seepage force is just equivalent to the um, effective unit weight but in that manner. So again, if this one is known, kanisha known, dapat known is ya. So dapat known is ya, then kanisha known for us to determine the exact value of your seepage force. So if wala, so medyo mag risulta o determine. Okay? So manisha for no seepage. So since there's no movement of water, so meaning ana automatically muna siya yung effective force, di ba? Effective force meaning that's the effective force of the soil particles or the soil grains. Okay, effective force. So seepage force is um sa tubig na siya gikan, di ba? Hindi siya kikan sa soil. So, in another diagram, so medyo naglibog na ko sa ang story, ha? So, so, if you look at B, pa upward C page, di ba? So, upward C page is kanisha, di ba? This is the upward C page. So, meaning, ang inyong CPH force is IZ gamma water times A. So IZ gamma water times A. Or if we want to make it more simpler, so that's H over L times Z gamma water times the area. So again, your CPH force is the water aspect of force. Baka ang nisip kay ang water man, dili man ang soil mo nisip. Diba? So always remember that one. So it's a... Uh, okay. So on the left side, sa kanin nga uh, one, nga portion dere. So, kaning left side is the effective. So, if you try to look at the diagram, so more ni siya kanang kuan. The effective force is equivalent to the total force 
plus or minus the seepage force. Na. So, muna siyang dating sa ito ang equation run. Na. Yeah, water ni siya, water. So, mararag itong formula sa ito ang total stress. Uh, effective stress is equivalent to the total stress then minus or plus the water. Depending on the direction, diba? Upward or downward seepage. Okay? So, be careful in this particular um, calculation because kanina sa head added, nag-add pa sa ang pore water pressure. But if you want to get the force, so we need to subtract it in the total force. So ano um, minus man siya. So if we look at it in the aspect of gravity, so soil is always pointing downwards, di ba? Together with gravity. So water is against gravity. So mana we have a minus sign here. So medyo libog siya no but mana mas mayo nga inyong isolve separately. So solve sa muna tanan sa mga stresses then if the problem is asking for the force so mag solve sa mga line o mga different forces na mga calculation. Okay, so in the bottom diagram, sa downward CP, so since everything is together with the gravity, so it's with gravity ang inyong direction. So soil, diba, the weight of the soil is with gravity. The downward CP is, uh, is with gravity. So that's why we have a plus sign in the effective force. Ah, wait, sa ah, wato pali niya tong ikon. Mm, bali din eh. So, kanisya is, so, sorry kaya niya. So, try to review this one lang. Sa video. So, kanisya is total niya. And kanisya is effective. So, kanisya total. So, mailan mo sa kwan, di ba kay? That's soil plus water. So, total niya ang kanyang left side. Eh. And then, kanisha is the effective because in the center diagram, so what we have here is the gamma prime lang. So, meaning that's the effective force of your specimen. So, plus the water, so manamay mo siyang total stress. So, try to review this one later. Okay. Marag na nasayop sa ko. Masa sila na natarong masad siya. Okay. So just try to read everything on your libro because para kang listen to this sa libro if wala mo tudlo sa ato mga diagrams is mo to mag-listen mo sabot sa both pa sabot sa libro. Okay, so the decrease of total force because of seepage is this one. So, meaning ana, IZ gamma water times A is just the seepage force. Okay. So, seepage force per unit volume is monis here. So, mora ragi kwa ano Z og A, diba? Z og A. Because if you multiply this one, so this one is the length of the soil. This one is the area, cross-sectional area. So let's say this one is in meters. This one is square meters. So together, it's cubic meters. So So if the problem is asking for seepage force per unit volume, so I come water at it so, you know, without the Z and A. Okay, automatically, that's kilonewton per cubic meter. Okay, but the force, if atong i derive ang kaning word today, force, so force per unit volume. So unit volume is per one cubic meter. So okay, ra, so far.
Okay, so next. So let's try to solve one problem. Di kita makorat. Okay, so in the in the figure, so it's clearly um, seen that we have an upward seepage of water. So given that H1 is 0 0.5, so let's just write this one here, 0 0.5. And then next is H2 is 2 meters. Then GS of the soil is 2.68, diba? So the void ratio is 0 0.55. So if you want to solve the soil first, the unit weight, so gamma saturated is equivalent to gamma water, Gs plus E, diba? All over one plus E. So we have 9.81, then 2.68 plus 0 0.55 all over 1 plus 0 0.55. So gamma saturated. So let's try to calculate it. So it's a Okay, so we have 20.44 kilonewtons per cubic meter. Okay, so your Z is, so kaninga height is 0 0.7 meters. So calculate the total stress, the pore water pressure, and effective stress at point C. So just, aton ng isang titiri lang. So total stress is H1 gamma water plus Z diba? gamma saturated. So we have 0 0.5 times 9.81 plus 0 0.7, that's Z, times 20.44. So total stress is equivalent to Okay, so let's solve the So relax lang mo dia ako lang solve So we have 19 point. So 19.21 kilopascal. Okay, so pore water pressure. So pore water pressure is again if since this one is upward seepage, so gamma water, then times the total height of the water diba, going towards point C. So this one A. Then, kanisa na height asad, then plus the kaning head added. So that's H1 plus Z. Then, for the sake of shortcut, so H over H2 times Z. So that's 9.81. So H1 is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.7. And then H over H2. So from the given data, H is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 over 2 times 0 0.7. So I'm going to shine you hang pore water pressure. So that's 9.81 times so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.7 plus. 0.5 over 2 times 0.7. Oops. 
right or else yeah so it's going to So we have an answer of 13.49 kilopascal. So obviously, the effective stress is total stress minus pore water pressure. So that's 19.21 minus 13.49. So effective stress is... five point seventy two so five point seventy two kilo pascal so when is ya ang effective stress at point c so the same ragay pong atong ibuhat but again we just included the the different head added or head loss depending on the condition of the problem Okay, so what is the upward seepage force? So, upward seepage force per unit volume. Ba, may ibutang din, di ba? So, again, so let's say, ato lang ibutang na F sub um, U lang. Ito kay upward. Ay lang siguro ng F U kayo mo nagbati yung mga kami na anda. Ay lang, F yeah, ana upward arrow lang na. Okay. So again, the formula, so from the previous slide, so I gamma water lang. Bakay, kuan man siya. C page force per unit volume. So meaning ana, we have H over L times gamma water. So H, that's 0.5 because we need to consider the total height of the soil specimen. Then the length is um, 2 meters times 9.81. So meaning ana, our upward seepage force is equivalent to so 2.45. So 2.45, so again, don't forget the unit, kilonewton per cubic meter because muna siya ang asa problem force per unit volume of soil. Okay, so questions or clarifications? So if none, so that will be it for today. And if you have questions, so kindly raise them before we end the session. Okay, so wala man siguro yung question kay easy rin, no? So I'll stop recording now.